everyone, Gary Simon of designforce.com here. Welcome to design challenge number 28, and that's to design a witty slash clever t-shirt concept. Now, this is an exciting challenge because I'm going to actually choose a winner this time instead of just reviewing them and not. And what's also exciting is based on whoever becomes the winner, I'm going to send out a t-shirt with your concept on it so you can wear it proudly. All right, so there's also a small chance that Glenn Jones of Glenn's, that's G-L-E-N-N-Z dot com, I, who's a great t-shirt designer, may be the person who picks the winning design. I've sent out an email, we'll see if that happens or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the desktop and we'll review more of the details. Please watch this portion, all right. All right, so this is the challenge thread here. Design a witty tech t-shirt. All right, so the objective is to design a witty slash clever t-shirt based around the concept of web design, development, programming, etc. Now, Glenn's tees right here, these type of concepts are the concepts I'm looking for. Something that's just very simple, unique, and clever. So you can browse through some of these and, you know, just to get an idea of what I'm looking for. You know, um, where's one down here? It's a pretty good one. It kind of relates to the uh, it's a tech industry. You have the standard uh, low battery iOS thing going on with a coffee cup. So very unique. Uh, this, these are the type of concepts that I'm looking for, basically. Um, so the concept must be clever and thought provoking, obviously, and it must have relevance to the internet tech industry. Use Illustrator, preferably, or another truly vector software. Now you can use Photoshop, but only if you stick to using shape layers and not raster layers because we want to be able to size size this up large enough for it to get printed on a t-shirt. So don't use any gradients, bevels, or embosses. Think flat colors like the concepts at Glenn. So please, I don't want any gradients or smooth uh, transitions from pixels from one color or, or whatever, don't do it. If you do, I'm not gonna review your submission. So consider this the warning. Uh, submission deadline, as always, Sunday. That's gonna be June 28th in this case. Uh, and choosing a winner. Okay, so as always, I'm going to review the shirt this coming Monday, which will be the 29th. I will choose the concept that I think is best from all the entries submitted. Now, if there are two or more entries that are too close for me to choose, I will upload another YouTube video in which I will ask you to vote on those entries. So I'll probably use some type of service that allows public voting, and it'll be like a poll. All right, so the winner will need to send me the graphic file, whether that's in a, preferably something like an AI or an EPS. Um, and I'll upload it to an apparel service that allows people to order shirts. So there's a lot of those floating around. I'm not sure which one I want to use. If you want to make a suggestion, go ahead. And then I will then advertise that shirt with its own YouTube video that I upload to my channel and also advertise on Facebook and Twitter. After 30 days, I will send half the money that's generated to you, the winner, whoever that happens to be. So it could be nobody might order it. I'm not even sure if 20 people order it, you know, and we end up making 200 bucks or whatever, I'll split that and send you the rest. So I'll also pay for one shirt, which will be sent to the winning designer so that they can wear their own design. Now note, I will be participating in this competition. I'm going to be making my own concept for this. If in case I see no entries that are good enough. In that case, I'm going to choose my own design, and I will simply choose a random winner from anybody who submitted an entry to be the recipient of the free t-shirt that I sent here. So I don't want to have to do this, though, so make sure your entry is great. I mean, try to really give it, get it on par you know, to the type of concepts that you would see on Glenn's tees, all right, on the same level of quality and uniqueness and cleverness and, and, and execution. All right, so inspiration, these are just, uh, just a few... Uh, concepts I linked from Glenn's Tees and you know, I encourage you to check out you know the whole thing here and then try to come up with something on your own that you know that's based on web design development programming etc all right so I'm really looking forward to this because we, you know, I'm actually going to be choosing a winner a lot of you have been requesting that I do this lately and I'm also you know you're also going to actually receive something or win something all right so I'm looking forward to a big time um, yeah, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet, and please check out designcourse.com, especially the video courses, video courses and the one-on-one -on -one training. All right, I'll see you later. Goodbye.